our country on uh, 2nd of uh, September at 11.50 a.m., we are launching uh, Aditya L1. So this Aditya L1 will be launched on uh, PSLV XL version, uh, PSLV C-57 mission. India seems to be in a hurry to leave its mark in space. While the moon mission is still underway, ISRO is all set to add another chapter to its space story. After the moon, India has set its eyes on the sun. India's first solar mission, a groundbreaking scientific endeavour, Aditya L1, is all set to take off on September 2nd. This is a result of collaboration between the Indian Space Research Organisation and various other institutions. The mission is poised to unlock new insights about the sun over the next five years. Uh, our country is uh, taking up one of the most important missions in the space history, we can say, because uh, there are very less studies uh, which happened on sun. Even today, we do not know much about uh, sun. So our country on uh, 2nd of uh, September at 11.50 a.m., we are launching uh, Aditya L1. So this Aditya L1 will be launched on uh, PSLV XL version, uh, PSLV C-57 mission. Approximately around uh, in 20 minutes, this particular uh, Aditya L1 will be put into Earth orbit. Once uh, it is put into Earth orbit, scientists over a period of uh, few, a few more days, they are going to raise its orbit, uh, make it completely elliptical, and finally, uh, they will give it an instruction to uh, escape uh, Earth's sphere of influence. After completing Earth's sphere, after existing Earth's sphere of influence, uh, this will be traveling and it will be going towards L1, Lagrange point, uh, Lagrange point 1. So, uh, totally, approximately some uh, 1.5 million kilometers would be the travel distance for this Aditi L1. It will take uh, nearly four months. After four months, what happens is that this Aditi L1 will reach this uh, L1. And over L1, after reaching the L1 point, it will be going around this L1 point in a halo, halo orbit. So, uh, with the help of this particular Aditi L1, scientists want to study sun, sun's uh, uh, chromosphere. And not only that, the coronal mass ejection, uh, which are of greater importance for uh, humanity because we have seen uh, and heard about the geomagnetic storms in the de recent time. So, scientists not only want to understand about the geomagnetic storms and other things, they also want to understand how the, this, the activities on sun uh, influence the solar activity or the solar winds. Aditya L1 is the first space-based observatory class Indian solar mission. Aditya L1 will travel 1.5 million kilometers and will be placed in a halo orbit to study the sun. India's solar mission will study the photosphere, which is the deepest layer of the sun that we can directly observe, the chromosphere, the layer from about 400 km to 2100 km above the photosphere, and the corona, which is the outermost layer of the sun. The spacecraft will carry seven scientific payloads for systematic study of the sun, which have been developed indigenously in collaboration with various ISRO centers. Of the seven payloads, four will directly study the Sun and the remaining three will study particles and fields at the Lagrange point L1. The Aditya L1 mission is expected to take four months to reach its designated point in space where it will begin its comprehensive study of the Sun. The instruments on board will provide an array of data including information on the Sun's magnetic field, its outermost layer, the corona and its emissions. How can I achieve my targets? How can I target the remotest markets? You only progress when you ask better questions. Mint. Think ahead, think growth.